Well, it was pretty straightforward, I have to say, but I think I need to put that into context, because I work in a hospital that's had appraisal up and running for at least 10 years. Um, and so that end of it wasn't new. Uh, I also work in a university where what we're calling multi-source feedback, what most people call 360 degree appraisal, has been up and running for a long time as well. So all, all these things weren't new to me. Um, but ha having been through it recently, I can say that it was, it was as straightforward as, as it always was, and I didn't find any aspect of it uh, particularly challenging. I think if we take multi-source feedback first of all, um, as I said, the, my first MSF was quite a long time ago. And I think the first MSF is the, in many ways, the most useful one, the most informative one. Because that's the very first time that you see yourself as others probably see you. And we all have this image of ourselves, you know, uh, and then you read what people say about you. And the things you recognize, oh yeah, I can, I can see myself in that. But the things you say, gosh, am I really like that, you know? Um, and for me, the first multi-source feedback I had was before I went on the Cabinet Office top management program. And uh, I had feedback from lots of people that I worked with, people who reported to me, people who I worked directly with, and people who I reported to. And the feedback on that was particularly useful to me because I had this image of myself as a really approachable person and a really good communicator. And when I looked at the feedback, um, the people that worked very closely with me, yeah, they thought I was approachable and a good communicator. The rest of the medical school, however, about a thousand people, um, you know, who is this guy? What does he do? And I realized I wasn't as effective a communicator as I thought I was. And that was a really useful um, wake-up call, if you like. So they oh, well, actually, this image of myself isn't quite accurate. Um, so I think that's an example of how it can be really quite useful to see yourself as others see you. No one's perfect, you know, uh, no one's perfect. And what most of your feedback will be, will be very positive. And I think that's important too, because we're often not as good as we could be at saying well done. You know, we should say that much more often. Um, so most of the feedback will be really good. Uh, but there'll be things where people say, well actually, you know, he or she could do this better, could do this in a different way. And it's useful to, to, to learn that, you know, it's useful to know that. And I think MSF needs to be approached in, in the spirit in which it's intended. You know, we know at the GMC that most doctors in this country are really good, and they are really good. Um, but we can all improve. So it's in the spirit of, you know, yes, you are really good, but, but this is what you can do to improve still further. Again, because I'm a clinical academic, because I'm a professor employed by a university uh, with an honorary contract with the NHS, yeah. uh, for about 10 years now, my appraisals have been three people in the same room. I, a university appraiser, NHS appraiser and me, and so that's been normal for me and for all clinical academics. And that's been really important because it's, it, it is always a risk that um, each each of your employers, as it were, thinks that they own you 100%. Um, and it's good for everyone to hear what the issues are. Um, so, so for me, again, this was absolutely normal. Um, uh, and, and I realize it won't be normal for lots of docs, but for me, it, it was the way it's been for quite a long time. I, I really think you've got to look at this in the, in the spirit in which it's intended. Um, most of us, because we're driven by professional pride, and most doctors are pretty competitive people, most of us do it all anyway. Most of us keep ourselves up to date because there's this professional pride thing driving us to do it. So in large part for most doctors, the revalidation process will formalize and record what it is they're doing anyway. The multi-source feedback will be new for most doctors, but again, as I said earlier on, I think it should be viewed in, the, in a very positive spirit.